Hello and welcome to yet another cube. Um, wow, and Tomb is still in the format apparently. I thought like almost none of them are in the format or remaining in the format. Um, it's a pretty interesting card of course, but the first pick it, I don't know. There's not much else in here though, like this card is obviously pretty good I think. Um, I really value it highly, but it's two colors already. This card is pretty good in its own, but you obviously want it alongside the Entomb. Vizarro is obviously fine, but again, alongside the Entomb. Mirage Wig is obviously a bonkers card, but... Maybe just go for Glen Render. It's a really good one, and it puts us into blue. Yeah. Mm. I don't know man, um, red is obviously pretty good as well, I think we're gonna try to force red then. And then we get a Magma Jet, uh, Fates Feathers, <coughs> Lightning Grease, a Quarter Paladin, Birthing Pot, hmm, interesting, might as well go Birthing Pot again, but we've done that so often, it's obviously the better card out of all of these. Thing is, you don't actually generate a lot of advantage out of Birthing Pot in this format. It's just like putting a thread out there that's pretty hard for people to beat. Compared to something like Fates Fairs, which is a response card, I think Birthing Pot in that case is a better card. Then I obviously want a Mystic as well. Hope that wheels. It's the only green card, so very unlikely. Maybe I just take the Magma Jet. Yeah, okay. Arc Trail versus Borderland Marauder. So it's basically a 3 2 for 2. We can also pick the Earth Missy. We can also pick up Sphinx's Revelation. Or Arc Trail. Mm -hmm -hmm. We can pick up Sphinx's and just hate it. Like, these two aren't that strong that we definitely wanted in red. And Sphinx's still puts us open. Like, these cards are still fine outside of aggro. And then, of course, you get a bunch of blue, eternal witness, uh, and not much of red. So, I don't think eternal witness is in the pick, unless Burton Pots, Wheels. Jace is obviously okay, but obviously not the nuts either. Sneak Attack is fine, but I don't know about it. Hmm. It's a tough one. Could go sneak attack, but I don't think I want to. We have 20 more seconds, fine. Uh, I think Eternal Witness is still the better. Well, Banishing Light is basically the better one. Yeah, let's pick up the Banishing Light. Hornet Queen would be fine, but we don't want to be those colors anymore. I think we want to be blue, red with a splash, but here we get a Sulfuric Vortex, which is obviously really good if you can grow aggro. I have someone to me right, was aggro, aggro, should have been picking this. Just not much red in this pack, maybe it's bad luck or maybe someone is red and just is passing him. Uh, Fire Blast versus Hero. It's also Latin Worlds, but uh, we decided on not going green, I think. It would be a bit too late to jump into it. So it's basically Fire Blast versus Hero, I think. A Fire Blast is better. Archangel, nah. Johnny is fine if you want to go those colors. But that's. I think Hero is better than. And we get a Stormbred Dragon. Uh, there's also this card, which is pretty good. This card is bonkers. Uh, but I don't think I can pass up this card. Although, if you do go green, then Wolfer is very, very good. It's probably better than this. But if you don't go green, then this is just better, so I think the Sombre Dragon has to be the pick. Isochron, but there's Burning Tree, Mock Fanatic, Flame Slash. Hmm. Burning Tree obviously has an upside in being Tempo, but I think Mock Fanatic is just a bit better. Although there's also Flame Slash, but I'm not sure if Burn is gonna be sh such a necessity. Compared to just hitting people, Burn Tree obviously doesn't fix. Uh, I think Mark Fanatic is a bit better. Scorcher's Alka versus Temple, given that we're not 
uh, we're not going gonna go green. Uh, I think a quarter paladin, like we passed up green in a way, so quarter paladin. Uh, if you go white w alongside this, then we obviously want a Borderlands Marauder. Uh, Dictate is pretty good, but want to stay as heavy on the red as you can. Um, in that case, the Borderlands Marauder is just better. Ranger of Vios versus Doom Traveler. I uh, obviously want both if you're going to play him, but I think Ranger is a bit better. If you have like Figure of Destiny, Mother of Runes, cards like those, uh, then Ranger is a bit better. Alicor Ways fixes somewhat. Uh, Ajani definitely good if you go white. Um, and the card is just good. Like the life gain isn't relevant, but giving my creatures plus one plus one definitely is. And we even get a wolf here. Wow. So it puts this to the sideboard for now. I think Sphinxes as well. Like there's no way we're gonna be playing Sphinxes, is there? Like what would we need to open and get past to to get things it's like a crap pack with Jace, we pick the days, then get a crap pack with treachery, we pick the treachery and then get a control magic, something like that. Maybe then I switch, but there's no way even if I pick up a Jace and get another good red card then I'm gonna pick the Jace over the red card. Hate drafting just isn't that viable in cube. Or in draft in general, like if you have no viable pick for yourself, sure go ahead and hate draft. But even if it's a bomb you don't think you can beat, like it's only one out of seven opponents that will have it. Hmm. There's Shar Firing Sager, but I think Bane Slayer Ranger is just better. If I go white red anyway, then the Bane Slayer is just a monster. It's pretty good against myself. Uh, one of those four will probably will. So Bane Slayer it is. I think that commits us in the colors. The Spark Mage, Mizium Mortars, Elish. Um Disenchant maybe, but I think Mizium Mortars is better than Spark Mage. Uh, it's a pretty good card. Definitely is. Uh, we obviously want like more sheep creatures. Uh white should have a bunch of ones, but you already passed the passive analyze. Man, I wish I picked the Fates first now over Sphinxes, I think. I think I picked Sphinx. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> I picked Fates first at one point. Or I passed Fates first at one point. Was that the Bird in Pot Pack and then I picked... What did I pick? Magma Jet? Um, given that we are, normally I would pick the Zealous Conscript, but given that we are actually playing white as well, I think the Imposing Sovereign is pretty good. There's also a Shrine though, like both of these are pretty strong. I think I like the Imposing Sovereign a bit more, like having my opponent's creature come to play tapped is actually a big benefit, plus it attacks, but Shrine is so good. Okay, let's pick the Sovereign and hope the Shrine wheels. Uh, it's very unlikely, but maybe I should have picked uh, the Shrine and hope the Sovereign wheels, but in an aggro deck, especially with something like a Jani, you want to be aggro uh, based. Uh, I'm going to pick the Reckoner, it's a really good card, uh, given that you can actually give it first strike as well, and if they can remove it, you just deal damage to something. Um, so it's usually a 2 for 1 as well. Uh, Core Sky Fisher, Siege Gang, Active Aggression. Glorious is Anthony from all cards I would play, but I don't think I can pass up a Boros Reckoner here. Especially given that we're actually playing both of those colors. So we have 5-6 early creatures at this point. Definitely want more. But we have a decent late game. Chandra gives card advantage, Baneslayer and Stormbread are just good creatures, especially Baneslayer. I'm not sure if I played the Ranger of Years already. Like I think I want like at least two more one drops. They're better they better be good. Uh Spike Shot Elder, Linvala is a flyer. Pillar of Flame. <laughs> There's also Temple. I'm 
given that I can pump with a Johnny Goldman, is the spike shot a little better? Or is it just Limvala? I, I think a one drop is better. So then it's between the spike shot, the pillar, and the tempo. We have Magma Jet, Museum Mortars at this point. I think the spike shot is better, although tapping for 3 mana. I think spike shot might wheel. Let's pick up the pillar, hope the spike shot wheels, and if not, the land wheels. Lightning Bolt um, is definitely better for me than Chandra's. Phoenix, like I'm not a big fan of that card. Especially not that if we're white and we have a bunch of flyers, we should ha be able to get some flyers anyway. Uh, a mirror angel would be pretty good. Uh, Core Sky Fisher Reeling would be really good. What else is there? Uh, Precinct Captain is a nice card, I think. Uh, not really a big fan of that. Not really a big fan of that per se. But it is good. But I think Precinct Captain. Though this card is pretty good though. Giving your creature plus 3 plus 2 is really nice. I think it's better than this. Goblin Guide. Nice. Champion of the Parish is obviously f nice. But I think Goblin Guide is just a bit better. There's also a Hammer. Which I like, but it, I don't think I can pass up a Goblin Guide. Not given the deck I'm drafting. Uh, so the Battlefield Force Field, I think it's better than these two. Uh, this is obviously okay, but uh, I think Battlefield Force is way better. Ancient Grudge or Disenchant. Um, Disenchant takes care of both, and Ancient Grudge only of artifacts, so it's a Disenchant. Here it is Shrine, obviously you wanted that wheel. Yes, I passed up a Lockdown like Warhammer. Score sky f core Sky Fisher wheels. Yep, uh, got it there. So another one drop um, would be nice. Another good one drop, a really good one. Um, well, Spike Shadowler is okay. Would I be happy playing this deck as is? I think I would be. Uh, given that my opponents also only have two packs, but even if they have three packs, I think my deck is strong enough at this point to uh, have a fighting chance. I think we're maybe a bit too heavy on the <coughs> burn and removal or the non creature department. But looks fine, like Crafted War Gear is really good. Uh, Multitail Massacre might be okay, but don't think I want it in yet. So, what do we basically open? Uh, Goblin Token Suck. Uh, Cloud God Ranger is, real, is pretty good. Brimstone Volley is fine, and Clifftop Protector is fine. I think Cloud Goat Ranger has a bit of pick here. It's a 3 3 that makes tokens, which makes it really good with the Johnny Gold main. It's really good with Hero Voxy Trich. It's really good with Crafted War Gear. Um, and the fact that it can get flying makes it also a monster. Um, it's better than being reactive. Bones Player would be fine wheeling and Clipped Up Rigid, but uh, I think Cloud Goat Ranger is better than Ranger Vios here. We'll keep both in, but uh, I think if I have to cut anything out of this, it's gonna be the Ranger for now. Gideon. There's also War Leader's Helix, which fit my colors. But so does Gideon, and Gideon isn't that bad. I guess it's 6-6 six, six for 5. Is it better than the War Leader Helix in my deck? War Leader Helix gives me range, it's removal, faster removal than Gideon Jura. Gideon is just so good. I think I picked the Gideon, hope the other one wheels. Uh, Talia is obviously the pick here. 
Johnny Vengeance. Uh, don't mind if I pick that. Like Stoke the Flames, Ravagers, uh, all good wheels, but I can't pass up, uh, pass up a good uh, Planeswalker here. So yeah, uh, maybe Pillar Gun. I don't know, man. Like it's pretty hard to to make cuts here. Maybe we just remove as much white as we can. But I don't know, like a quarter pelin is really good as well. Uh figure of destiny. There's a river arc which is also nice. And this card is definitely good as well. But figure is just a good one drop. Maybe one of the other wheel. And then I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know what to play anymore <laughs> now. Um hmm. I guess Legionnaire, uh, it's a good 2 drop. Which you can just cast, so... Maybe I don't play the Skyfisher. It slows me down. It is a 2-3 flyer. Maybe this isn't that great and the Spike Shot Elder isn't that great. But I think Spike Shot Elder is probably better than Mug Fanatic. We can also play 16 lands and cut one of these. Uh, Condemn versus Frontline Medic. We have already played with Frontline front Medic and we have found it to be good. So we're picking that one up. Uh, it's a 3 3 for 3, which in vanilla statistics is good. And then the fact that it gives your creatures indestructibility is really nice. But when you can sacrifice it, it's also nice. Like I managed to do it on uh, the Black Zenith, Black Sun Zenith, and I basically won the game there because of that resolve. That was a great stabilizer for him. He knew I could counter it, but you know sometimes you know, but you can't actually do much about it. Uh, Lightning Strike is just a crap card, I guess. But let's draft it. Uh, compared to the other burn that we have, it's not that great. Could have another effect, sure, but... Pure Flame is sorcery. So I think that's out. Uh, yeah, Brimstone Volley, Bone Splitter. I think Brimstone Volley is a bit better. Maybe we just got more of the end game, like this is gone. Uh, Bane Slayer, I'm Dragon, I don't know. Too heavy on the twos, maybe as well, especially given that we dropped the porcelain there. We'll we'll see in a sec. We'll see in a sec. Just add these again, and then basically decide when we need to. Uh, so ten cards of these have to go. Maybe the Borderland Marauder is worse than Thalia. Definitely, and the, the Skyfisher. It's a one-two, which is okay, and it's a three-two attacker. So I don't see why it would be bad. The fact that it's a 3 2 for 2. We're gonna be attacking most of the time anyway. We're planning on attacking most of the time. We might not be, but uh, we hopefully are attacking by that turn. Uh, War Leader Helix Wield, so picking up that one. We were dotting between this one and Gideon and we managed to pick a boat, so. Stormkirk, Noble Wheels. Uh, I picked Tala here, but Noble is definitely a good one. I've been saying that a lot this, this draft, right? It's a good one, and, and this is good about that, and blah blah blah. Maybe I need to up my vocabulary. It's pretty hard to be talking half an hour without reusing the same words, but I need to be a bit more eloquent, I guess. Might just have used that word without knowing what it actually means. <laughs> I might not have, I might know what it means fully and still mess it up somehow. Uh, so we're not that heavy on the white, maybe we want to cut these. Raise your alarm is not that great. Uh, I think it's better than those, but we won't be playing that card. Yes, it's instant, but whatever. A 2 mana for 2 2, like. We have way better cards at two. So 
So I think we just want to cut a bunch of whites. Maybe cut like everything outside of something. Um, Mentor of the Meek seems nice. <laughs> I just want to say it seems really good again. Kami is also good. Uh, Mentor, we're playing so many uh, cheap ones. Yeah, Regulus Keckler. Yeah, we're just going to be cutting on, on the end game and um, playing 16 lands, I think. I think that's the plan. L just look at our early game. It's so consistent. So I think we just want to be cutting here. <coughs> but then what are we cutting? Maybe all of these outside of the dragon. Maybe we don't even play the dragon. We can keep most two landers, so it doesn't really matter that much. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven one drops. And one, two, three, four, five, six two drops. So that's 13. Two or lower. So these can all fuck off. Ah oh my god, why doesn't this work? There, there we go. <coughs> so this is not a creature and this is not a creature. Oh we actually have eight. No, that's seven. I need to learn how to count. Uh, sure. Legionnaire goes there. Sulfuric Vortex, Banishing Light. And then here, this is a big question, right? I think Molten Tail is definitely gone. Uh, Hero of Oxytrich is actually a creature. Johnny Goldmane. So, 13 cards of this have to disappear. Wow, so many. I think we, we want to be cutting here like Museum Mortars. Although it is obviously a really good card. I think these are just better. Uh, Pillar of Flame. We have Lightning Bolt. Uh, we have these two. We have three, five burning. Um, I think Banishing Light can go to the sideboard. Uh, we have plenty of removal in burn, and we can bring it in against some permanents, but very unlikely. These are also good. I think we want to cut at least these three. And the, the ranger as well. I understand that these are monsters, but... Maybe Mentor of the Meek is just gone as well. Yes, we can draw cards of this, but do we really need to? So we have 17 creatures now. Maybe Baneslayer is better than Stormbread, but... Shandar moves the blocker, which is the main reason why I want to keep it in. And then the Ajana is... This Ajana is obviously worse than this one. Because this just... You know, either kill something, deals damage to an opponent, or um, yeah, keep something tapped. Uh, just a nice effect. Hmm. So we have 13, 17 creatures. I think is frontline medic better than mentor or the meek? I think it is just keeping your creatures indestructible when you're attacking. Of course, Skyfisher. I'm not that sold on this card, to be honest. But I really want to be cutting here. So we need to cut... Oh, we have 20. We need to cut four more cards, that's right. Uh, it's obviously less 
due to us playing uh, only 16 lands. So I think out of the burn, Lightning Strike is the worst. Deals 3 damage, but Magma Jet is that much better. And Brimstone Volley, the fact that it can deal 5 damage, which is 1 fourth of someone's HP. Although Lightning Strike is probably better than Brimstone Volley because we want to cut on the mana costs. I really don't only want to play one of these, I think. So that means cutting both War Leader Shilik, Chandra and Ajani, which is just too much. So maybe we got the hero, but the hero is Haster. Like isn't the hero better than the War Leader Shilik? Maybe not. So I think this is gone and probably this is gone. So that still leaves me with one card. Can we go mono red with splashing for something like this? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Five cards would be gone, then we can one, two, three, four add. Which is the one card, but. Um, Talia is a really good card. Corpel is really nice as well. And there's a Skyfisher, which is a flyer. The frontline medic definitely has its benefits. They have to. We have to make a decision in being very aggro against uh, being somewhat of a late game. I think we want to go to the early game as much as we can and then we're allowed to play only 16 lands. So if you cut something it has to be on the top end of our deck. So it's either Hero Voxes Rich versus War Leader's Helix for me. Maybe it's just a dragon. I th think the dragon is better than the hero but only playing 16 lands, the dragon might not ever get cast. Maybe we add the mentor of the meek and just cut both. Go like this. And cut both of these. Or like cut both of these, play the Chandra. Like this. Because the Chandra removing blocker plus doing damage to my opponent seems really good. And we run 15 creatures now. 15 and 9 makes 24. Is the Brimstone Folly better than the Chandra? Is Brimstone Folly better than Chandra? Problem is that Talia actually hampers these. But it also stops the Brimstone Volley, of course. So then it's just beneficial to play the Mentor. Um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 creatures that work with Mentor. I don't think that's worth it. It's just a 2-2 two, two and so on for 3. I think Chandra definitely has a better effect, especially given the, given the 0 ability. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it like this. Uh, so many options, so there's probably plenty of mistakes in here. Uh, we're less on the white and on the red, but we wanna run at least like six planes in here. Hmm, five, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cards, six horses. We only need one white, so might as well. So those are 15 lands, man. Um, I don't know why you. So we might as well add an extra plane, then I guess. Wait, what? Ah, map. So here we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven red sources and six white. Yeah, sure. I'll submit and I'll see you guys for round one.